Hey Aquarius, how are you guys doing? Welcome into the channel. All right, my friends, I was getting ready to do, whoa, a reading for the collective and I heard do Aquarius first. So here I am, dropping the cards all over the dang place. How's everybody doing today? I hope you're all well. Quick reminder, there are, there's five days left in, um, the half price reading so if you're interested in that head to the link in the bio if not no worries trust that you'll get everything that you need right here and if you ordered a reading they have they will all be sent out this morning all right friends for the aquarius collective trying to slow down okay what do we need to know Starting out with the chariot, making moves, Aquarius, moving along in a big way. This would not be a small move. This is about converging our energies and directing ourselves, our will, in the direction we want to go. I feel like this is piggybacking on that manifestation reading from yesterday. In the recent past, we have the Five of Wands. The magician on the bottom of the deck. Five of Pentacles, the moon. There's a lot of, I want to call it confused energy, kind of like with the Five of Wands, this is about kind of butting heads. This is about conflict. This is about there being a hardship of some type. And I feel like we're moving away from it. If you look at the cards themselves, look at how she's kind of tilting the chariot away from whatever this mess is. So if you've been going through something in the physical, it looks like we're moving away from that and we're doing so through our own means of manifestation. Near future, we have the Ace of Swords. So it looks like we're heading towards some clarity, Aquarius. I'm seeing the King of Swords on the bottom of the deck. So we're steering ourselves away from confusion, away from conflict, and we're heading towards clarity. And this would be a major step for you. This would be something that you've either been waiting a long time to do or something that it could also be someone coming in from a distance to provide you with clarity i'm not seeing the other person yet all right let's see what's crowning you what's in the foundation crowning we have the hierophant and in the foundation please for aquarius We have the Queen of Swords. I feel like your sharp tongue Aquarius may have gotten you into a little bit of trouble. No, I'm hearing you speak, spoke your truth. So I feel like you've spoken your truth to someone or some people, a group of people. These people did not like this. This created conflict for you, okay? But you did the right thing. You spoke your truth. So be it, right? Now I feel like we're moving away from this conflict. This could, with the Hierophant crowning you, this could be you heading towards, towards a space where you're going to be either in a teacher role. This could have been encouraged by a teacher. This could have been encouraged by a spouse. This could have been encouraged by a boss. With the Hierophant, this is something contractual. It can have to do with teaching. It can have to do with, I think I explained this yesterday, basically somebody that you see as higher in rank to you. And this is what's on your mind as we're making this move. The important thing here though is you have shown up for yourself in such a way and been so truthful and honest about things that you piss some people off and that's okay. Better that they're out of your life than to be in your life and be fake. 
I'm seeing the Eight of Cups, the Three of Swords, and the Nine of Cups. So the Eight of Cups is moving away from something. I'm going to take these out from the bottom here. The Eight of Cups speaks to us moving away from something emotionally. So maybe we're moving away from whatever this conflict is. We're leaving the emotions that are tied to this in the past. The Three of Swords can be about heartbreak, but it is also, on the flip side, about healing, okay? And then we see the Nine of Cups. So we're walking away from something here that was a messy situation. We have the Three of Swords here. We're healing ourselves and we're finding ourselves in a place of fulfillment, a place of joy, a place of calm, a place of rest. I want to see what this Ace of Swords is, Aquarius. What is this clarity we're receiving? Temperance. Temperance and the Five of Cups. So maybe, again, we walked away from something emotionally, right? We moved away from that. With the Ace of Swords coming out and Temperance and the Five of Cups clarifying this, I feel like you're learning how to temper this water energy so we're adding some of that fire back into it to get ourselves out of this space because even when we lose people in our lives that maybe weren't the best for us or maybe we were having conflict with it can still be painful it can still hurt it can still feel lonely and i'm seeing that you're tempering that energy you're taking the sword the ace the clarity and you're moving on from it, okay? Whatever this is for you, you've done the right thing, you've made the right maneuver, and we're seeing the Nine of Cups coming out as where this is leading you to. Let's clarify the chariot. Excuse me. So the Knight of Swords just came flying out, which is very Knight of Swordsy to do. <laughs> Knight of Swordsy, okay. Um, interestingly though, look, they're rushing in to try and talk to this person, but I feel like you've already made up your mind. So whatever this is that pisses these people off, maybe we have somebody else coming back in to try and like change your mind, try and shift your perspective. But you have made your mind up. You are finding clarity. You are finding peace. And you're on the road there now, Aquarius. I don't feel the need to clarify anything else. I feel like that's the full message. Is there anything else you want to say to Aquarius, Spirit? The Six of Swords. So moving on, not only emotionally, but mentally. So making sure we're not bringing whatever this chaos is with us in our head. That we're detaching both emotionally and mentally from it before we decide to jump into the saddle and move ourselves along to a better place. All right, my friends, that's where we're going to leave it at. I love you guys so much. Thank you for stopping by and hanging out with me. I hope you're all having a beautiful day and I will talk to you again soon.